Good, Good morning, Pleasanton, Pleasanton Junior High. I am Alexis Badia. I am Aaron Gonzalez. And, and this, this is PJH Express. Express. Today is December 4th, 2017. Today for lunch we are having chicken fried steak, steak, peppered gravy, hot roll, or ham and cheese croissant, seasoned pinto beans, lettuce and tomato, celery sticks, sliced pears, choice of fresh fruit, or choice of milk. Today's birthdays are Domingo Cordova and Nathan Guerrero. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to all. all. Please stand, stand for, for the pledges. pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Pleasanton Junior High Pledge. Pleasanton Junior High. Our school, our classmates, our teachers, respect it. The four B's are be on time, be prepared, be safe, and be respectful. Please be seated for the moment of silence to meditate, think about your day, or pray if you wish. Teachers, at this time, please do your batch check and submit names via email to Ms. Prado and Mrs. Maziate. That's a passage from the beginning of my new book, The Girl I Used to Be. 17-year-old Olivia Reinhardt grew, grew up knowing that her dad killed her mom, but then a human bone is found in the woods and it changes everything. The Girl I Used to Be is a fitting title on two levels. One is it's about Olivia Reinhardt, born Ariel Benson, trying to figure out what happened to the girl she used to be. Her parents were too young and not married when they had her. They fought all the time, but still when she's three, they take her to the woods to look for a Christmas tree. They never come back. Meanwhile, three, my, three hours away, a girl is found in a Walmart. She's so young, she can't tell anybody her name. She can't tell anyone how she got to be there. It takes a while before they figure out that it's Ariel Benson and it's a few weeks before her mother's body is found in the woods. She's been stabbed to death. The authorities figure Ariel's father must have snapped and killed her and then taken Ariel to the Walmart. Ariel ends up in foster care and then has a failed adoption that leaves her with the name of Olivia Reinhardt. But when she's 17 and that bone is found in the woods, authorities realize that her parents were both murdered that day and it's the killer who took Olivia to the Walmart. Olivia moves back home to try and figure out what happened to her parents and if anyone there knows what the truth is. But of course, the killer won't want the truth to come out. The other way that the book is a fitting title is that it's about uh, Medford, the place that I grew up, and um, Olivia has a neighbor, and I made that neighbor look and dress and act just like my mom. My mom was... Uh, slowly dying when I was writing the book and I was actually able to read part of the book to her while she was on hospice. I put so much of what I love about Medford in that book that tawny hills that hold the valley like cupped hands. I put um, the old Oddfellows Cemetery 
where we spent so many hours when we were kids looking at the old gravestones. And in the winter, we would even sled on the parts where there weren't any gravestones. But I also got to put in the book this necklace that my mom gave me. I Just as happens to Olivia in the book, when I complimented my mom on the necklace, she took it off her own neck and, and handed it to me, and that's what happens to Olivia. That's a little bit about the girl I used to be. I hope you'll check it out, and I hope you'll love it. Science UIO will meet on Mondays in Mrs. Cassidy's room after school. Please make sure your rides are here to pick you up at 420. Order your yearbooks online at jostinsyearbooks.com. Cost is $40. Additional cost for personalization and icons. Deadline is January 18th, 2018. Our attendance average per grade level for this week for last week was 6th grade 94%, 7th grade 95%, 8th grade 95%. Our weekly goal is 97%. The grade level that hits 97 the most times till the end of the school year will get a prize. So come on Eagles, do you have what it takes to complete this challenge? What is your job title here at PISD? I'm the academic lead for the Pleasanton Junior High. What are your responsibilities here at the Junior High? My responsibilities are working with teachers. I help them plan what they're going to teach the students. I help them find what they're going to use to teach um, with y'all. Um, you know how when you take a test you get um, a scantron that has little bubbles in it? I make those uh, for your tests. And then I scan them all and we use that data to see what all we need to uh, focus on in our teaching. So. What colleges did you attend? I graduated from Baylor University for my undergrad and I'm still in the process of finishing my master's at Concordia. What do you love most about being at the junior high? I think I love that we're one big family. All the students and the teachers and everybody just looks out for each other and we all just are one big family. What degrees do you have? Um, I have a uh, bachelor's in education and I'm working on my uh, master's in uh, curriculum and instruction. Okay. There are many choices that you as a young person haven't been able to make. You didn't get to choose your brothers or sisters. You probably didn't get to choose your home or your school or your teachers. But there is one thing that you do get to choose every single day, and that is your attitude. Now listen to these words from John Homer Miller. Your living is determined not so much by what life brings to you as by the attitude you bring to life. Not so much by what happens to you as by the way your mind looks around at what happens Today, think about this. How you live your life is greatly determined by your attitude. So remember, when you choose a good attitude, you naturally choose a happier life. It's a simple idea, really, but try it. It works. With something to think about, this is Alexis Badia and Cadence Kubish. Make it a great day or not. The, the choice, choice is yours. yours.